The Acro Tech Giles G202 is a serious aerobatic aircraft. Flown by top competition pilots worldwide, this two-seat variant is based on the single-seat G200 that was first produced in 1992. Built of advanced carbon fibre materials, the fuselage contains no welded steel components at all, and this makes the aircraft relatively light. Even with a simple four-cylinder Lycoming IO360 engine, the top speed is 253 miles per hour, with a cruise of around 200. One pilot has described the T-02 as reckless abandoned capable. It's a plane that doesn't limit the pilot in any way. This is ably demonstrated today by owner and pilot Doug Brooker. Lloyd Buell, a former Canadian national aerobatic champion, said of the Giles, I had to look under the cowl and make sure that there were four cylinders under there. The performance of the airplane is absolutely amazing. The controls are so well harmonised, it leaves you speechless. This is a wonderful aerobatic aeroplane. One of the most prolific to have on an aircraft is the DH-82 Tiger Moth, of which over 9,000 examples were built between 1933 and the end of production some 15 years later. The Tiger Moth became the RAF's basic trainer, and by the outbreak of the Second World War, it already had 1,000 aircraft of the type in use. An additional 4,200 were delivered during the war years, and over 3,000 more were built under license in Australia, New Zealand, Sweden, Portugal and Canada. After the British evacuation from Dunkirk in 1940, 350 Tiger Moths were fitted with bomb racks. These aircraft were to be used against troops landing on beaches during the expected German invasion of Britain. Between 1939 and 1956, the RNZAF operated 335 Tigers, including 180 aircraft, which were built in the de Havilland factory in Wellington. These were used for both training and communications roles. After the war and into the 1950s, 350 Tiger Moths entered the Civil Aircraft Register, and most of these went on to form the basis of agricultural aviation in New Zealand. In 1945, Curtis Pitts built the first of what was to become a line of aircraft that would dominate aerobatic championships throughout the world during the 1960s and 70s. The Pitt Special is still used in competitions today and has won more aerobatic competitions than any other aircraft type. The initial aircraft was small, lightweight, with a short wingspan and extremely agile, especially when compared with the larger pre-war biplanes. The special aerofoil design of the wing gives the aircraft similar characteristics in both normal and inverted flight, as ably demonstrated by pilot Richard Hood. 